making an ambient track in 30 minutes. So we are opening up Logic and we are creating a new, new project. And we choose a synthesizer, which is Pikmin's, which I love, absolutely. That's the C chord that we play. Now we're picking a sound and that sounds wonderful. Let's play that, let's hit record. And there goes the C chord. Let's bounce that and let's duplicate that and make a loop out of that. Make a new track and we're going to choose a new sound. That's lovely. Playing random notes on that synthesizer. Whoops, and there we go. Loop, loop it like it's hot. I love Iris too, actually. Nice and clean. We hit record again and play more random notes in C. Loop that. We're going to loop everything. Some nice stock logic synth. We're adding that one too. I'm adding some EQ to that already. Now it's time for some lead synth. Pigments again. That sounds great. Having some fun there with the modulation wheel and the pitch bend. <laughs> Earthquake. We're going to EQ that one too because we don't want stupid frequencies. BBC Symphonic Orchestra Orchestra. We're going to add BBC Symphonic Orchestra there for the bass. Playing that one, hitting record again, recording that. See, we're getting a project here already. Looping that. More. We place those randomly. Maybe here. We're almost done, guys. So we need some vocal effects. Delay designer on the mic. One, two, three. One, two, three. That's going very well. Simple pitch shifted. Hello. It's okay. Let's solo that. Adding some nice compression here, which is a great one called Combear. EQing again. And I'm going to add this reverse piano trick. Bounce in place. File functions reverse. That sounds great. Add some more delay to that. EQ that. We're going to add automation here because we want the song gradually to grow and gradually to decrease in volume. And we want more sounds there. Nature sounds. We're going to hit record and add the birds and the wolves and whatever it is. Random, random, random. It's lovely. We're going to loop that as well. Make it build up and extend it. Panning. Some EQing. Remove those violent frequencies. And we kind of have a track now. We do the build down. Okay, one more vocal take indeed. And... Here's the final result. 